name is Travis Pearden. I'm a livestock and feed extension specialist with the Ministry of Agriculture. And today we have Jennifer Hayden with us, and she is also a livestock and feed extension specialist with the Ministry. And we're here today to talk about um, just the risks that would be associated with uh, uh, gra grazing, canola regrowth in a stubble field like the one we're standing in here today. So Jennifer, what are the risks uh, when you look at a field like the one we're in here? Well, we look at this, it's nice um, green growth palatable, nutritious, right? Lots of energy, lots of protein. Um, but like you mentioned, has those risks associated with it. So canola is notoriously high in sulfur. So we don't want to exceed about 0.4% um, on a dry matter basis for cows. But when we look at canola, it's going to range anywhere from about 0.5% all the way up to 1.3% and sometimes even higher. So when we come out to graze this, we want to know what we've got here. So we probably want to feed test. We want to know what that sulfur level is at. One of the other risks associated with canola regrowth is also going to be nitrates, especially if we've had a drought or if we've had frost events, those nitrates could be high. So we're going to want to test for nitrates too. Some of the issues that we might have with the sulfur content, uh, we might see diarrhea in those cows, some scouring. We also um, can run into risks with a thiamine deficiency or vitamin B1. So the rumen can't, can't keep up with that thiamine production. The other issue we might see is a copper deficiency. So of course sulfur um, ties up that copper, makes it unavailable, and we have copper deficiency symptoms then in those cattle as well. And the biggest thing probably with the sulfur toxicity issue would be a nervous system disorder called polioencephalomalacia or PEM. Um, so basically the brain kind of turns to mush, we get necrotic tissue in the brain and those cows will die. So probably don't want that either. So Jennifer, there's also you know cases in Saskatchewan where we have a hailstorm come through in the summertime. Um, you know, can canola be salvaged as a hay crop and, and what kind of precautions would we want to take if we're going to feed that to livestock? Sure, we can salvage that crop. Again, high protein, high energy, especially depending on the stage of the crop. So the earlier, um, you know, sort of up to mid pod, we've got almost a quality that's similar to a good alfalfa grass hay. Uh, the later in the season it is, the more mature it is, that palatability and nutrition goes down. Um, and same types of precautions. We want to feed test. We want to know what's there for nitrates. We want to know what's there for sulfur. And we probably don't want to exceed about 40 to 50% of that cow's total intake utilizing that canola, whether it's as hay or as silage. All right, so if producers have more questions about this, what's the best way for them to find out some more information? So contact your local regional livestock and feed extension specialist. Check out our website, saskatchewan.ca backslash agriculture. Um, there's some good information there as well. All right, thank you, Jennifer.